Uh, Slam Dunk South, Sophie here, I'm with Joby of the Bronx, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing? Not bad, thank you. So how did Leeds treat you yesterday? Uh, it was good, you know, a little tired. Uh, we flew in from New York the day before, so uh, feeling a little bit better today, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to uh, sleep through the night and stay awake during the day. Fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah, right. Now, um, I want to talk about the Bronx and the Mariachi El Bronx, because you're doing both sets today. Yes. How do you get yourself in the zone for each separate kind of gig? Do you have, do you do that or do you just go with it? Um, <laughs> I think these days we have it pretty, uh, pretty, pretty wired, and so um, you know, just kind of know what to expect and just try to make sure I don't forget it. You know, any of my parts. That is key. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. How do you feel when you are like jet lagged? Is that an extra worry for you? Because obviously the mind is not completely there when you're jet lagged. Well, you know, I th I, th I think playing playing concerts, you know, I don't I don't know if there really is an ideal, you know, uh, sort of mental state to be in, or, or whatever that ideal mental state is, it's never going to happen. And so I think, you know, you just kind of get. Uh, you know, hammered into just, you know, figuring it out as you go along. That's just life in general, isn't it, really? I think so, I think so. Now, when you first started out, I was watching an interview yesterday, you said the aim was you wanted to kind of confuse people with the sounds you created. Is that still a, a consistent thing every time that you want to kind of people go, oh? Well, you know, I... I think that's, you know, probably a, a, a longer answer than, you know, what you're expecting to get. I, I just think that, you know, it, it, there's so, you know, art and, and punk to me is, is about, you know, doing your own thing. It's not like a like a sound or, a, or look or, you know, anything like that. It's more of an idea. And I think, you know, that a lot of times, you know, in, in musical scenes or genres, you know, um, is, is like the worst thing that could ever happen to music, you know, it's like categorizing something, you know, and then once that happens, people start to, you know, figure out what part of, you know, what category they want to be a part of, and, you know, they mimic something, and, you know, the the greatest, you know, thing you can ever do in art or music or even cooking, you know, is, is let your personality come through and be yourself and who you are, and I feel that, you know, a lot of times that doesn't really happen anymore, you know, I mean, it does, but no, it, it, it's just... It's an unfortunate sort of uh, backlash to, uh, to you know, something that has been created. But uh, so long story short, confusing people, I guess, would be what I probably meant to say was, you know, being yourself. And I maybe being yourself is confusing. Definitely is, I think. Yeah. Do you find that the thing that restricts maybe newer bands from being themselves is just kind of PR people, management, or just no, trends? I think, or? It's, I think it's just a desire to be like, you know, your idols. You know, it's the same thing in sports. You know, people like, I'm going to, you know, be a basketball player and shoot like this guy or dunk like that guy, you know. I think, you know, imitation is, you know, one of the highest compliments you can receive. But, you know, that's also something that's like... The, you know, I think every band should go through a class on how to be yourself. Yeah. I think that would be awesome. Particularly the youth who just look on Instagram and see someone who seems to have an apparently perfect life and yeah, yeah. want to emulate that. Your latest album, I, I was reading that it is the most negative and that you've put out in a while and there were worries that it might be off-putting to, to listeners. Do you know, I think, you know, we live in a negative time, yeah. you know, I mean, you know, or we're getting older and, um, you know, you start paying attention to, you know, politics and the way your country's being run and, you know, all of these disadvantages people have and, I don't know, maybe it's maybe it's just that as, as you get older, you kind of, things that didn't really bother you, you know, uh, when you were young and a kid, and, you know, you know all, all of a sudden kind of start pomp, pumping up and, you know, people, you know, that are close to you, you know, start disappearing and, I, I don't know, maybe... 
I, I don't want to. I, I, I hope I'm not a negative person, but sometimes I think I think I have maybe maybe there's a little more weight on us now uh, uh, on on things you know the ongoings of the world and society that maybe you know has crept its way into music. But I also feel that you know records are kind of like a like a snapshot in time of of who you are, you know. And whenever I hear you know like records we made ten years ago, it's like I just start laughing, <laughs> you know, because it takes me right back to, you know, when we were doing them, and, you know, so I think, you know, I, I, I think that this one will do the same, you know, if I hear it 10 years from now, I'll, I'll remember that I, I felt like I had the weight of the world on my shoulders, you know. You either have more woes and worries on your shoulder, or you'll have a new lease of, like, exactly. devil may care. Exactly, exactly. Um, also, when you decided to kind of merge the genres, I think you thought that people might want to murder you, people be you know, up in arms about it and everyone, well, large chunk people have just celebrated it and enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's always, you know, exceptions to the rule. You know, I think that there's been people that couldn't have been more bummed out that, you know... You've met those people, have you? Oh, yeah, yeah. But, and vice versa. There's people that hate our punk band, you know, and... Uh, it's cool. I don't really care. It makes me happy. <laughs> but you like kind of varied opinion, conversation about things, whether it's good or bad. Well, I just get really fucking bored, you know, playing the same thing and so does everybody else. So, you know, there's a lot of music that comes out of, you know, this band and the guys in this band, you know, is, is, is kind of, you know, that's what everyone in the group really loves to do is to make music and, you know, to deny yourself that feeling of excitement and that you get from sound and creation, you know, I think is, is more what makes you not really give a shit what anybody else thinks because it makes yourself happy. Who do you think out there at the moment has that kind of same attitude? Are there any bands um, on the bill or just around that you've noticed? You, you know, I think, you know, if you look at any band, you know, with a smile on their face, they're doing the right thing. That's what I would say. Content with life and what they're doing. Content with what's coming out of them, you know. I think that's the whole point. You know, that's what, you know, shit, we've been a band for 12 years now, I think. And, uh, you know, I think if we didn't have, you know, that something to come back to and, and make us really excited, you know, we probably would have been done years ago. But, you know, it keeps us coming back every day. Do you ever allow yourselves to think what you'd do if the band wasn't around? Or can you not allow that to happen because then it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy type thing? I don't know. Um, we're all pretty terrible at planning. Um, it's kind of <laughs> whatever we feel like doing at the time seems to happen. Um, I don't know. Just go with the flow. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we probably should, though. Oh, it's worked so far. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you get asked this I'm, a lot, but... I mean, it's hilarious how bad of planners we are. It's Can like, you give an example? How's this weekend gone so far, plan-wise? Pretty sure we need a babysitter. <laughs> That's what Emma is to a degree, I guess. She's one, or, or more, <laughs> babysitters. Does she look stressed? Is she coping with it all right, the pressure? I don't know how you guys do press. It would drive me nuts. Um, that being said, I don't know how people book bands or manage bands. It's never something I could do, or nor have the desire to do. You have but, to uh, really love music, I think, don't you, to put so. up with everything that so. comes with it. Now, I'm sure you get this question a lot, but because you were willing to merge genres before, is there any chance of, say, you know, punk music? mixing with I don't know salsa or yeah uh, no there's, we already have a we already have another band within this band um, it's all instrumental sort of western you know surf guitar stuff it's called Pounded by the Surf and our album's coming out this August so there is yet another you know wicked web that we weave within uh, within the mutation of all these guys and all these groups so or for your like family and friends and loved ones like can you just stop working chill out and just relax for a little bit you know i'm i uh, yeah i'm a workaholic though i love it like, so. i get i get you know, I really enjoy, and I, you know, I think I speak for most everybody in the band, like being able to play twice a day, you know, because it gives you something to do. Mm. You know, this is a very, I'm not going to say it's boring, but I think people's conception of, of what it is to be in a band 
is quite different than the reality. And, you know, so it's it's really nice for us to, you know, because we enjoy it, you know, and so we're here, we might as well, you know, do something instead of sitting around and getting to play for an hour, you know, now we get two hours. You're productive in your downtime. You don't look back and think, oh, we could have done even more with our career. That would be annoying, I guess. I think that's my problem, is I think we could have done more. No! God, you do give yourself a hard time. It's like a, it's like a mental defect. <laughs> you know. What can we do about it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Ongoing live stream. Okay, the time is up, I'm Time's afraid, up. but have a great time today. Thank you for spending the time to interview our radio. No, thank you for talking to me. Absolutely. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you very Cut. much. Thank you. <laughs>